Hey there, everyone, and welcome to Bill's Retro Gaming Show. Well, today marks the official start of summer, and while it might feel like things have been cooling down when it comes to home arcade news, that doesn't mean they're not heating up when it comes to retro games in general. We've had a couple of pretty cool announcements in the last couple of days, and I want to tell you all about them right after this. All right, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscription button, click the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I put up a new video, give this one a thumbs up, and leave a comment below if you want to be part of the conversation. So, as I said, it is the start of summer, and this is the time when a lot of companies make announcements of upcoming games and things of that nature. We've had a couple of really cool announcements come up in the last couple of days, especially if you're a fan of retro arcade games. And I want to tell you all about them, and we're going to start with one that I think people are the most excited for, whether you're a fan of fighting games, retro games in general, home arcade any of those type of things, I think you're going to really, really like this collection coming from Capcom. Let's check it out right now. All right, and of course, I'm talking about the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. Oh, a lot of people saw this trailer, whether you were watching the Nintendo Switch Direct or you saw Capcom drop this one themselves. Everybody's been talking about this lately. A lot of people are really excited for this, especially because of the games collection. You're going to get all those classic Capcom, Marvel, Street Fighter, fighting games, X-Men, Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, the original Marvel vs. Capcom, of course, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And if you're a fan of side-scrolling beat-em-ups, they've even included the Punisher with this one, which I think is pretty exciting, especially when you consider that so many of these games, well, all of these games are available on the Arcade 1-Up, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 machine, except for that Punisher game. That, I always thought, was a big miss for Arcade 1-Up, not being able to include that one. Now, at the time, they said Disney wouldn't allow it. I don't know if Disney's changed their mind or if Capcom just does what Capcom does, but this is one that I think people are going to be really excited to be able to play. This has got some really cool features to it, uh, along, of course, with online play, being able to play this uh, against people online. Again, you know, that arcade went up version. While you can do that, the online play isn't that great. I have to assume that it's going to be better for the console and PC versions of this. Uh, you're going to have things like a training mode. You're going to have a gallery with videos and pictures and stuff in it. You're going to have a music player where you can play the different music from the games on its own. There's just a lot to really enjoy here. This is supposed to come out sometime this year. It's going to be available for Switch, PS4, and uh, PS5, and Steam. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been announced for Xbox just yet, but maybe that's something that will come at a later time. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this a game collection that you're excited to pick up? Let me know. So that's some pretty exciting news from Capcom. Now, Capcom has released a lot of these collections in the past. They've got their Street Fighter collection. They've got a collection of some somewhat lesser known fighting games, uh, Darkstalker games, things like that. They've done straight up arcade uh, collections of like some of their beat-em-ups and different things like that. Capcom really likes putting out these collections of some of their older games. And I think this is one, especially if you're a fan of the Marvel Street Fighter games, if you're a fan of fighting games in general, that this is one that a lot of people are going to be looking forward to. Now, of course, I kind of mentioned it as I was talking about it over the video. Everybody has been talking about this in comparison to the Arcade 1UP Home Arcade release. They released their Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and recently the X-Men 97 Deluxe one, which was a reskinned version of that Marvel vs. Capcom 2. A lot of, you know, basically in terms of the fighting games, same games are on that as are in this collection. Like I said, the Arcade 1UP version, Missing the Punisher. Such a fun, great beat-em-up and it's such a shame that that was left off of that particular machine and I wish there was something that they could do maybe they could work out a deal seeing this come out maybe there's some deal that they could work out to add that game back on through an update 
Wouldn't put my uh, hopes on it for sure, but it would be nice if it could somehow happen. Uh, and of course, you know, a lot of people have made uh, a big deal, of course, about the online play. Some people saying it's not that, you know, it's gotten better since their last update a while back, but it's still, you know, not that great on the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 game. I got to assume with the infrastructure that uh, things like Switch and PlayStation have that it's going to be a lot better on these. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for this? Is this something, even if you own that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 machine like I do, is this something that you would still wind up picking up to be able to play? Let me know in the comments below. But let's move on because that's not the only announcement. There were a couple of other interesting ones and I'm going to start with this. So Hamster, the company that produces the Arcade Archives, have released their latest game, and this is Rostan Saga 2. Originally released by Taito in 1988, Rostan Saga 2 is actually a prequel to the original Rostan game. I did not realize that. I did not realize it was meant to be a prequel story-wise. Um, story but this is now available. This is as of today. This is a game that you can pick up on Switch, on PlayStation, on Xbox. Um, they sometimes release these for PC and even Android. Not sure about this particular game. But if you're a fan of classic arcade games, if you follow these arcade archives, which uh, over the last several years have released literally hundreds of old arcade games, then this is when you can pick up. It retails, I believe, for about $7.99. And like I said, you can pick it up for your console, for PC, however you like to play these games. Now, I am not particularly a huge fan of this Rostan. Um, I think Rostan 3 is probably the best one of the three. This is probably, I would probably say Rostan 3, Rostan, and then Rostan Saga 2 uh, in terms of my enjoyability for this game. But if you like classic side-scrolling action-adventure type games, if you're a completist and you wanted to get the entire Rostan Saga to be able to play on your console of choice, well, Rostan Saga 2 is now available for you to check out. So that's Rostan Saga 2, part of the Arcade Archives from Hamster. Officially available today, June 20th. Like I said, you can pick it up on your console of choice, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, um, I I do think it is also available on uh, Steam, PC, so definitely check that out. Like I said, if you're a fan of the Arcade Archives, if you like the games that they've been putting out, like I said, Rostan Saga 2, definitely not one of my favorites, but as I said, it is something that is available if you like these type of side-scrolling action-adventure games. If you're a completist who wants to get all of the Rostan games, it's now something available to you. But... That is still not the only news we've had recently. The last thing I want to talk about is a couple of new cartridges just announced for Evercade. Let's check those out next. So Evercade have just announced two new cartridges coming to their system later this year. And the first I want to talk about is this one. This is the Tau Plan Arcade 3 cartridge. So I guess this is the third one that they've released. Terrible Plan, very well known for their shmups, as you can see here. And the games that this is going to come with is Batsugan, Batsugan Special Version, Outzone, Fix 8, Truxton 2, Nox, and Vimana. Some of these I'm pretty familiar with. Um, Nox is a really fun game. Batsugan, Truxton 2, super hard. Uh, Vimana, I don't know if I've ever played, but if you're a fan of shmups from Tau Plan, this is a cartridge to look out for. Now, Evercade has also announced this one, and this is the Data East Arcade Collection 2 from them. This is going to include 12 games from Data East, some of which I think are pretty well known, some of which not so much. You've got Peter Pepper's Ice Cream Factory, B-Wings, Shootout, Last Mission, Express Raider, SDR Super Real Darwin, Midnight Resistance, Crude Busters, Trio the Punch, Super Burger Time, uh, Edward Randy and Joe and Mac returns. So a dozen games, all kinds of different things here, whether it's a couple of shoot 'em ups, a couple of side scrolling uh, adventure games, uh, some platforming games, all kinds of different stuff. So if you're a fan of Data East arcade games, 
this might be one to look out for. Like I said, there's definitely a couple of sleepers on here that uh, people may not know that well, but something to look out for, for sure. Now, while these two collections were just announced from Evercade, they're not going to be available till much later this year. The pre-orders for this start in late September with a release date of about November 28th. So this is something you can definitely look forward to towards the end of the year. But if you're a fan of Evercade, if you like collecting some of their cartridges, especially their arcade releases, then these might be two to look out for. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of these two collections from Evercade? Is, are these ones that you're excited for? Are these ones that, that you would pick up? Whether it's for your handheld Evercade, whether it's for your console-based Evercade, or whether you want to pick them up to play on their new countercades that they've got coming out later this year. Let me know what you think. And that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, some pretty exciting news if you're a retro gaming fan. Whether it's that Capcom fighting collection, if you're a big fan of the Marvel Street Fighter team-ups, this is definitely going to be one that's right up your alley. And of course, from the Arcade Archives Rost on Saga 2, listen, maybe you like that game. And if you do, it's available now. You can pick it up anytime you want. And of course, for you Evercade fans out there, the Data East and Tau Plan cartridges that are going to be coming out later this year. Let me know in the comments below, do you plan on picking either of those up? Like I said, that is all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that as well. And of course, keep those comments coming. As always, thank you so much for watching. And of course, it's summertime. If you're looking to beat the heat, crank up that AC, go into your arcade, play some games, and have a good time. That's all for now. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and have a great day.